there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. I know it was probably a little bit of a shorter vlog, but still had a great time. It was a smaller show out and uh, put on by Behind the Diamond. And uh, yeah, VFW card show. It was an awesome show. Had a great time. Walked around a lot and uh, looked for some deals. Was able to stay longer too, which was great. It was the last show I went there. Wasn't able to stay that long, but it was a great time. Great experience again. And uh, definitely can't wait to go back to some more shows. Had a great time, walked around, met met some people, uh, talked a lot. And uh, yeah, had an overall great experience at the show. Picked up some nice stuff and picked up my, I'd say, holy grail card, at least right now. And uh, yeah, it was just awesome, awesome feeling picking it up. Finally, I mean, again, yeah, hoping to grow, hoping to pick up some more stuff um, in the future. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. Picked up a lot of uh, value stuff, mainly football. I don't think I picked up really any basketball. Uh, but, yeah, you guys are going to see a lot of stuff. And uh, picked up some wax. So let's get on into the recap, guys. And uh, here we go. So starting off with this uh, first little pickup here, I believe. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I think this was it. So I picked up this uh, lower end lot. Uh, and then I saw some other stuff uh, that I like. So, uh, we got a nice Rondell Moore rated rookie. I believe these were in, like, a two-for-dollar bin, so I thought it wasn't too bad. Uh, cool Dwayne Eskridge. I don't know. I know these are hard to hit, so I figured why not. Those might be solid. Zayvon Collins, a bronze. And uh, Kellen Mond, a nice J-Jets. So, not too bad on that. Kylan, again, two-for-a-dollar. Can't really go wrong. Kylan uh, Granderson, hollow. I know he uh, he scored a touchdown. Uh, recently nick richards i thought that was a good deal numbered uh, out of uh 299 and uh you got van jefferson that's a silver so the rams are doing well here's a nice bateman i believe these were a couple of these were like a dollar two dollars so not too bad cam Akers flash this was pretty nice a nice josh palmer auto uh said he had one i was i was kind of i kind of like josh palmer i don't know how i brought i think i brought him up and he said he had one uh, that's separate, but it's a nice little deal made there. I also did uh, end up picking up a Donruss fat pack and a hanger, and uh, I was pretty good. Got it for, I believe, 25 so, I mean, that's not too bad because retail on these, I believe, are maybe like 10 I don't know if they're still 10 but maybe 15 let's say. The retail on the pack is probably like 6 7 so, I mean, not too bad. It's just paying a little bit more, but still... I'm not sure it could be 10 and 5 still, but that was a pretty good deal there. Uh, and I uh, also picked up this uh, nice little DeMonto Smith Optic uh, Purple. That was a nice one. Uh, again, we'll see what happens with uh, Smith, if he's going to I mean, live up to the Heisman hype and all. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really kept up with uh, DeMonto Smith. I know he had a big catch in one game, but still, I thought that was a cool little pickup there. Some nice... Uh, Devonta Smith optic right there. Also, uh, let's see what else we got here. Picked up this uh, nice little lot. So there's like uh, cards in like uh, these cases, like where you open them up. I always love uh, looking through those, and I uh, saw some nice stuff. And the guy was pretty fair uh, me on prices. So forget how much these were. It might have been I think like two a piece, three a piece, something like that. So thought it wasn't too bad. Sea Lamb Optic, a nice Joey Bosa Silver, that's not too bad. Jared Goff and Jared Goff, there's a Wentz in there too, just ended up passing on those. Uh, the annoying thing is, again, you got to save and make sure they're good, but uh, not too bad on those. And uh, I saw this Elijah Moore, that kind of attracted me for 10 bucks. I figured, ah, you know what, it's, it's a terrible product, but again, with this uh, Leaf or whatever this is, a Sage, Sage, uh, but it's a cool looking card too, so 10 bucks. Jets first round pick, PC card. Uh, m might actually move it, but still, I thought that was cool uh, at 10 bucks. So ended up picking those up. That was not a bad deal. I mean, it was all right. Uh, Could have passed on it, but it, you know what? The Elijah Moore is cool and all. It's just, I don't know what this, this, this company is no good. You're better off just cracking it at that point. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with. Elijah Moore, I know a lot of people are high on him. Uh, I, as a Jets fan, I'm pretty high on him. I'm hoping uh, 
he'll be a good wide receiver for years to come for the Jets, but just never can uh, find good wide receivers, it seems like. Even if Denzel Mims recently, they drafted him. He's not too great of a uh, wide receiver, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully Elijah Moore is that uh, long, long-term long uh, wide receiver for the Jets. And uh, we'll see, though. It's a nice uh, Elijah Moore there. And I also uh, was surfing around, and there's just a bunch of cards uh, on the table loose. And uh, the prices were on the back, so a little bit of a different uh, type of table. And I saw the Zach Wilson, 10 bucks jersey, rookie. I said, sure, because I didn't have a Zach Wilson NFL uni. I know I bought a jersey for, it might have been cheaper, actually. I think it might have been, I'm not sure. I think it might have been about 10 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Uh, when he was uh, a little bit hotter before, I believe, he uh, started. So that was not too bad right there. Picked that Zach Wilson up. And uh, also... Picked up these two. They're really good deals. I uh, got Nick Chubb out of 35. Nasty, nasty patch. And the case is a high-end uh, product. And uh, Jason Witten out of 35. A little bit of a weird story. The guy, one of the prices on the back. And they, he uh, he said, oh, I... Uh, <laughs> he said, oh, I want to get more. Because I, I didn't recently price them out. But if you have the prices on the back, you should... Be, that's... That's they're pretty much priced out. So I mean, it's kind of weird. He wanted to give me them for more than uh, he had on on them on the back. So a little bit of a weird story there, but still picked those up for a really good deal. Those were uh, pretty cheap for our uh, relics. So got that out of the way. Just trying to make some room for all this fire. And we got the fire card coming up, guys. Uh, so picked up some of these wax packs. When I first walked in, I saw these. Uh, Tops and absolute football uh, Dollar Tree packs. I was like, the 2012 uh, football tops looked really, really good. I was, I was like, seriously debating about buying it all right then and there. But then I was like, ah, you know what? He didn't. He was a little high, in, high on them. I would say he wanted like ten a pack. So I was thinking maybe not, maybe yes. I don't know. But uh, ended up passing on the tops packs and ended up picking up all the absolute. Uh, I believe there's like 14. And it gave me a pretty fair deal, so thought it wasn't too bad. Again, these are only dollar store packs, so that's. But again, these are from 2020, so a little bit of an older pack. And I know these were hard to find, so uh, that's cool. But uh, first pack I ripped, Jalen Hurts. So I ripped it at the show. Nice Jalen Hurts. He actually had that in the display case, so that was that was pretty cool. Obviously, hoping to still pull a Herbert. I might rip some, save some. Uh, but that was a nice Jalen Hurts pull. Was super psyched about that first pack um, mojo. Actually, I'm gonna sleeve it up right now. That was a nice one. I mean, I'm not sure how much they do. Probably like five bucks. So it wasn't too bad. And I ripped some more, and uh, not the best Jake Fromm. But again, that's to be expected with these packs. That's why if you if you get in them for cheap, uh, it's not too bad because again, 2020 is a great. Uh, it's looking like a great rookie class either way you put it. Uh, Isaiah Simmons rookie. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, some cool stuff here. Some cool absolute packs. Uh, I believe that was all. I think I ripped like four, maybe uh, three. So that wasn't too bad on the absolute packs uh, there. Uh, let's see what else. So also picked up a 2021 absolute blaster. Saw it. The guy was pretty fair on the price, kind of negotiated a little bit. Again, you really can't because it's retail price, but the guy uh, was nice with it. He said he gave it to me what he paid for, so that was pretty awesome. Nice little absolute uh, blaster. You got uh, one jersey and mem. Again, this probably could drop down a lot, but still might rip it. Uh, obviously, chasing the Kaboom. I know a lot of people are talking about the Kaboom, ultra rare Kaboom insert there, but uh, you never know. Again, three uh, green parallels. You never know. We gotta wait and see if we pull some uh, kabooms. But uh, here's probably one of my uh, favorite deals of the show. Picked up actually a bunch of these uh, rookies and stars blasters. Picked up, I believe, six of them. So I got it for a really great price. So couldn't pass it up again. When you buy in bulk, you get better deals. So uh, again, that's true if about anything. So if you're gonna buy in bulk, blaster boxes. Couldn't go wrong. One jersey card. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty good on these rookies and stars. Again, the rookie cop crop is looking good. I know it's rookies and stars, nothing crazy. But you still get a guaranteed hit, which is uh, pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, you get the red parallels. 
Not sure if they have Crusades in here anymore, but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty good, guys. Uh, there, did pretty well at the show with Wax and all, but uh, let's show some more singles, guys. So, picked up this huge Relic and Auto jersey lot, and uh, I believe it was in like a $2 bin, and it was got for my guy, sports fan. Go follow him on, on IG, great guy. Uh, <laughs> always loves making deals, so ended up making this big deal. And uh, definitely a great one. Uh, again, some, some mainly uh, lower end value stuff. And uh, yeah, worked with me, gave me a great uh, price on all this stuff. So I believe it was like in a $2 bin, a lot of this stuff. And uh, some some of them are some really great deals. But again, got it in a bulk deal. So that was uh, pretty awesome. Let's get into some of this stuff. Julio Jones, Topps Rookie. It's mainly autos and jerseys. Again, you're going to see some lower end stuff, but... At the same time, there's going to be some nice stuff. Uh, Paul Richardson, auto. How about this cool uh, Terrence West out of 50? We got a uh, Michael Floyd, auto. Andre Williams, RPA. Bryce Butler, uh, out of 99. Max Double X Williams, out of 99. Tavon Austin, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's out of 150. Ryan Anderson, we got a... Uh, Devin Fuller out of 99. Demarcus Ayers. Sheldon Rankins. I know he's on the Jets. This was one. I was going to just buy this uh, straight up. But Vic Beasley, rookie auto. I thought was pretty good. I'm not sure what team he's on. I know he's bounced around a little bit. Tyler Eifert, rookie auto. I thought that wasn't too bad either. Here's a nice one. Cameron Brait, rookie auto contenders. That's got to be a solid one. Uh, also saw this one, Dory Jackson. So here's some of the better ones out of 149. Not too bad. Uh, Cleo Mack rookie. That was pretty cool too. How about a Marshawn Lynch? I know uh, a lot of people love a beast mode. So that was cool right there. And that's also the uh, pro ball. So Jersey. So pretty cool there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Dalvin Cook. How about another uh, Julio? Never can go wrong with a future Hall of Famer. Uh, here was a nice uh, Tyler Eifert, Zach Ertz. Two great uh, tight ends from that class again. Too bad that was not Kelsey, though. If that was Kelsey, that would have been sweet. Uh, we got Jared Goff out of 50. Here's a nice CD Lamb. Another CD Lamb. J.K. Dobbins, Curtis Samuel. That's number two on the back. 275. Cam Akers, Cam Akers. Some Antonio Gibsons. Nice Denzel Perryman there, too. We still got more. Uh, this was definitely a great deal. Uh, freshman flashbacks, Corey Davis, Miles Sanders, Chase Young. Here's a really nice one. Jared Goff out of 125 rookie origins. I know a lot of people don't believe in Goff, but still a great deal. And this uh, a lot. Dante Moncrief, D'Anthony Thomas, Paxton Lynch. Nice patch there. I know it's Paxton Lynch. It's out of 49, though, so... I mean, cool, cool uh, patch on that. Nice little Broncos uh, patch. Let's see what else we got. Vernon Hargraves auto to 99. So still some nice stuff. Even if some of the players aren't the best. Uh, some nice quality. Here's a nice Donta Foreman. Eddie Vandergoes. Never really heard of him, but still contenders autos could be cool. Uh, Calvin Harmon select. I thought that was nice. That's numbered. Vance McDonald. Again, I always love the on-card auto, autos. Uh, Jordan Jenkins. Here's a nice Mike Davis rookie auto. Uh, no, he's been... I believe he's in uh, Atlanta still. Could be wrong. I think he was getting some reps. So that's pretty cool. Desmond Trufant. Here's a cool one. Uh, Kelly Bryant. I know a lot of people uh, remember him from Clemson days. And I still do. So that, that was cool. Here's a nice uh, Todd Boyd on-card auto. I know a lot of people from Clemson like him. Uh, Latavius Murray out of 99 to pretty much bought out all the autos in the value boxes. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Matt Sims, I believe, uh, son of Phil Sims. Uh, Charles, Charles Sims, another, uh, Sims out of, uh, 50. We got, uh, uh, Donta Foreman, Devonta Freeman. <laughs> My bad. Uh, nice sick patch there on that one. And, uh, Brock Oswaller. There's a cool one, Terrence Williams. I know he used to have some uh, good years for the Cowboys back in the day. I believe he retired. I could be wrong. Here's a nice Nelson Aguilar. Really nice uh, patch on that out of 99. 
And uh, let's see what we get. What else we got here? Lonnie Johnson, rookie auto prism. That's not too bad. Here's a nice uh, four quad Kelvin Benjamin to 75. Manti Teo, again, scandal. Always will uh, live behind him. I believe he was on the Bears. I'm not sure if he's uh, st still uh, in the NFL, though, if he still will be. I'm not sure if he's played. Uh, Quadre Olison, Stanley Morgan, and nice Davis Webb Prism Auto. That's a pretty bad auto, though. So, uh, yeah, that was an awesome lot, guys. Give you guys a rundown of that. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, rundown. That was an awesome, awesome lot right there. A lot of work to be done, though, on that. So, definitely got to get some work on uh, that. Again, that's when you buy bulk autos. Again, some of it could be risky, but I think overall I'll do pretty, uh, pretty good with that. And I'm uh, pretty happy with the purchase of the whole lot. That was a nice one right there. Picked up, uh, I think it was like 60 cards at the end of the day. So some nice uh, autos, relics. It's always good to have some more inventory at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, so that was about it, guys, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure if I picked up anything more. Maybe I picked up a couple of cheaper cards here and there that I didn't show. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Picked up, again, six of these rookies and stars blasters. Picked up some wax. Uh some of these packs. I mean, I, I think it was overall it was a great show, guys. Had a great time. Again, shout out to Behind the Diamond for uh, putting that, the show on. It was, a, it was a great time. Had a great time. Great show, guys. And uh, the VFW Hall show. And it was a great time, guys. So, uh, yeah. Had fun. Had a great time. Walked around a lot. And uh, it was a great show. Definitely. forty. I think it was like 45 tables. So, not too bad. A little bit of a smaller show, but uh, still, you could always find some deals. Some overpriced stuff. Again, that's sometimes happens. A lot of higher end, and uh, it was kind of funny because I saw some uh, Mike White. I know uh, by the time you guys see this, he probably uh, fizzle out a little bit, but again, it's just uh, cool to see what uh, people have set up, what people uh, are selling, what's selling, and uh, yeah, some people ripping optic basketball. That seemed a little bit hot. And uh, it was cool, but uh, at the end of the day, guys, i probably make a separate video about this just because it's such a big pickup and card I've really, really wanted for a while. Uh, always been looking for Alvin Kamara stuff, you guys know. That's that's my main PC. Got a, probably about five autos, but always wanted to add a Prism Alvin Kamara auto. And uh, saw one at uh, the Hopster card show. Didn't end up picking it up. Unfortunately, but uh, finally, finally pulled the trigger, guys. I'm so excited to pick this one up. This is super sweet. And the guy said he picked it up at the show, so what are the odds of that? And bang. Alvin Kamara Prism Rookie Pink Auto. That is so sick. So sick, guys. Sweet, 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 hot fire right now. Uh, super excited about this. Again, already graded BGS 9.5. It's tough to get good grades on Prism cards. And uh, again, that's from uh, the case is perfect. I didn't really check that out. But ended up doing a nice little trade and cash deal. Gave up actually a Derrick Henry and a Zion. Which you guys probably will see. I'll probably make a separate video about this. Discussing all the details and all. Uh, but may may ah, I don't know maybe I overpaid a little bit if I would say but I really wanted an Alvin Kamara Prism Auto and uh, yeah I thought this one was just super sweet again you're not gonna find a lot of these pink prisms out there I think only one recently sold and uh, yeah BGS nine five two so. Thought it was the right time. Again, BGS, not my favorite. I prefer like PSA, but I'm not going to probably crack it out. If it gets a 10, though, that'd be super sick. Uh, just a nasty card and one that I really wanted to pick up. So, picked up my dream card, I would say, or Holy Grail. This was one of my uh, favorite cards and one of my cards I really, really wanted to pick up. And I, I was eyeing it at the last show, uh, the Hobster show. And I was like, ah, last minute, and that was last minute too. So I was, I was like, ah, oh, do I want to pick it up, Joe? And I said no, because it it wasn't right. 
and I thought this deal was right because I could trade and uh, give up some cash. It wasn't too bad. And uh, you guys will see the full date details. I'll probably make a separate video on this. It's just awesome, awesome pickup card you really wanted. And uh, yeah, definitely some uh, work on this one. Flipped up a little bit on it. And uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Glad I made that deal. Flipped up a little bit on it. And, uh, yeah, some awesome stuff, though. Some awesome pickups. Awesome show, guys. Picked up my Holy Grail sports card. I'd say for right now, again, time to flip up. Get some bigger Alvin Kamars or whoever it is, guys. Uh, but all I know is Kamar is a beast. So, i uh, super excited about this one. Definitely going to stay in the PC for right now. Until maybe I can work out another deal or another card I would want. Or if I need to sell it or something. But still... Super awesome, super excited about that Kamara, and uh, some great pickups, guys. A lot of bulk stuff. Got some uh, wax, got some mid end uh, stuff. So uh, yeah, overall, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, vlog. That was probably a little bit of a shorter one, and uh, but the recap, guys, picked up a lot of stuff at the show. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed that recap, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Appreciate all the support again. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, vlog. And again, be sure to subscribe. And uh, here's the recap, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the recap. See you guys later. Peace out.